Hello and welcome to this little video on grafting cucurbit. The experiment goal is to test the viability of the cucurbit unions using the tongue approach grafting. Basically a good graft occurs when two plant tissues are joined together and heal successfully to form an entire functioning plant. In this experiment we will see if cucumber species can take advantage of larger and deeper rooting system of squashes. The material required is the cucurbit seeds, four plastic trays, the razor blade, G6 soil, grafting clips and wood sticks. First of all, prepare a clean G6 substrate to support seeding growth. Add water to moisten the soil properly. Mix the soil using your hands to increase the soil to water contact. Then, fill up the trays with moist G6 soil and press firmly to distribute it evenly. Now that the trays are filled, one cucurbit seed is planted for sale at about 2 cm deep. The seeds are recovered with soil and trays are properly labeled for each cultivar. The trays are watered again and a plastic lid is had to keep a high relative humidity and increase the temperature which will increase the seed germination rate. Once this is done, the trays containing seeds are brought to their growing environment in a greenhouse where the conditions are controlled to favor an optimal growth. After using the greenhouse facilities, don't forget to clean your working station to be as clean or even cleaner than when you started. Now that the plants have grown for two weeks, they are ready to be grafted. First, to avoid any contamination during the process, the propagator must wash it, his hands and his working area. Also, 70% ethanol solution is sprayed on the razor blade that will be used. The graft will be done using the tongue approach technique, which basically consists in cutting both scion and rootstock at the same slant angle to favor cambial contact and increase the healing process. However, note that both stems are not cut entirely and the stem part remain on each to support the graft. First of all, the true leaves are removed from the healthy squash rootstock. Only the cuts they done are left on the plant. Then, a standing cut is done downward in the rootstock stem at about 2 cm below the cotyledon. Be careful to not cut the stem entirely. Now that the rootstock is ready to be grafted, let's prepare the scion. Using a healthy cucumber plant, cut off the above ground part with the razor blade. Then, another slanting cut is done on a stem, but upward this time, to fit with the rootstock. Finally, this is the most delicate operation. The scion and rootstock cuts are joined together. The graft is fixed with a grafting clip to favor the cambial contact. Then, a wood stick is had to support the graft. Then, trim the leaves using sharp scissors to decrease the water loss by transpiration. Good work! You just have done one good grafting. There are 79 more to do. When all the grafts are done, bring them into a mist frame where they will stay for two weeks.
once in the mesh frame, water the plants gently. Done! The light intensity is reduced to favor an easier graft even. Done! Every 45 minutes, the sprinkler water the plants for about 20 seconds in order to keep the relative humidity high enough to limit the evapotranspiration. And now, clean your work using magic power. The tongue approach grafting technique works very well, but only on two grafts. We can see here that the scion grow well, which means that the vascular cambium yield properly. In some cases, the graft failed because the scion abort completely. The success rate was then below our expectation. This is why we decided to graft again some extra plants with another technique. Notice that now, the rootstock stem has been cut entirely while the other manipulation remains the same. Using this new technique, we now have a much better graph success. We can see here that the graph union is well healed. To conclude this grafting tutorial, let's see with my lab partner if there were some points that could be improved in the experiment was to be done again. Hi Dominic. Hi Sebastian. Of course, there are a few points that must be improved to increase the success rate of the grafting. First of all, an error we did was to take the grafting out of the mist frame directly instead of reducing the misting interval gradually. This moment can be very stressful for the graft and thus decrease the healing chances. Also, another thing, to improve the tongue approach technique, the cotyledon of the rootstock should have been taken off after one or two weeks to, uh, to increase the survival change of the scion to grow. This is something we should test in another experiment to see if it makes a change. Otherwise, the experiment went very well and all the results are satisfactory. Good job, Sebastian.